You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, black and white sports supporters, we're going to talk about the Denver Broncos, Sean Payton, the Jets, Aaron Rodgers throwing a little shade back at the Broncos, more specifically, Sean Payton, because, well, Sean Payton came out and crushed the offensive coordinator of the New York Jets, former Denver Broncos coach Nathaniel Hackett. Just so happens, by the way, Zach Wilson is playing his best football under Nathaniel Hackett. Now, he's still not destroying the league or anything of such, but he does look more competent. Let's be real. Now, honestly, Russell Wilson has looked better under Sean Payton, but Russell Wilson made a massive boneheaded mistake during that game yesterday And I honestly, I thought, oh, crap, here come the Broncos. They're about to come back. Russell Wilson sort of felt a little bit like when he played for the Seahawks and he used to come back against the Niners, except that's not the way it went. And fans destroyed Russell Wilson because of a monumentally bad fumble. So let's get to all this. We knew the Denver Broncos and Sean Payton was going to be a story. In the offseason, we remember Sean Payton slammed Nathaniel Hackett, okay? Slammed his coaching. Talking about the co- he sort of broke the coaching code because he drowned the former, I guess you could call it, administration of the Denver Broncos. The Broncos don't look that good right now, to be honest with you. They don't. I think their offense looks better than it did last year. But their defense, where's it gone? I mean, the defense was actually competent in a lot of games last year and kept them in a lot of games last year. All right. Well, Sean Payton has come out. He's addressed the the loss, and we'll get to the Russell Wilson part. Uh, Sean Payton did own it himself, but there was some jawing on the sideline after a monumentally bad play by Russell Wilson. Broncos coach Sean Payton pointed the finger at himself after his team fell to 1-4 with a loss to the Jets. Quote, I've got to do better, a better job. It starts with me, Payton said. It's not hard to say. Payton is right about that. Payton was the one who said that last year's Broncos was the worst coach team he had seen. And now this year, Broncos look even worse than last year's team. Like I said, they look better in one spot, look worse in another spot. Peyton did say, uh, Peyton said he did a poor job of managing the offense in the red zone, and he said he was kicking himself for abandoning the run. Quote, part that I'm frustrated with myself is we became one-dimensional, and I know better. So we have to be more patient relative to how we run the ball. So let's get to this because uh, – Aaron Rodgers did throw a little shade. By the way, uh, Peyton tried to squash the feud with uh, over Respectfully, um, I feel like I've addressed it. Um, you know, Robert did a great job of talking about, you know, here's the thing. We got two teams focused on getting their second win, and I think uh, that's where our focus has been. Yeah, and I think Mr. George would be the better one to ask. But So, I mean, he, you know, he's trying to say they're moving past it and everything, but it was a very big story just a couple of months ago. So, NFL fans blasted Russell Wilson after a meltdown against Zach Wilson. Wow. The Broncos, and this is Pro Football Network, Broncos and Wilson can't continue their relationship, can they? The trade from Seattle to Denver is one of the worst deals in NFL history. Wilson is not playing well, dragging the entire Broncos organization down with him. Hiring Peyton as a head coach was a last-ditch effort to fix Wilson and turn the offense around, it has failed. Well, he made a massive mistake yesterday, yeah. But when you look at his actual numbers, I mean, he's 67%, 1,200 yards, 11 TDs, two picks, and a 106 rating. There's no doubt Russell Wilson does look better than he did last year, okay? I don't know where that's going to go. And he had some monumental mistakes in that game yesterday. But is he playing better than last year? Quite a bit, I think, personally speaking, from what I've seen of his game so far. 
That was evident in Sunday's game against the Jets where Wilson was 20 for 31 for 196 and two touchdowns, but was sacked four times and lost a fumble for all intents and purposes, ended the game for the Broncos. Without a doubt, this was a monumental F up. Yards to make it a 60-yard attempt. Wilson oh. the ball. And then it was picked the up, and he was gone. He was gone, and, he and that was ball game. It was over right there. I'm sure I'll have to put a block somewhere in here so the NFL doesn't nail that. And this was coming off the field. All right, it was a massive mistake. And if you think there's not some friction, look at that. Sean Payton is pissed. Right there. So there is officially, no matter what, there is officially friction between Sean Payton and Russell Wilson, which we thought there might be, folks. We thought there may be some friction. We was watching for that. There was a reason why Jared Stenham got that bigger-than-average backup quarterback job. Okay, that salary. So anyway, fans started chiming in, as you can uh, imagine. Caleb Williams to Denver. Russell Wilson is finished. And it got even worse. The Jets. The Jets trolled Sean Payton. When you lose to the, quote, off-season champs, and that is Kevin James, who evidently is playing Sean Payton in a movie coming up. Broncos and Russell Wilson every game. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yikes. We've all seen that one before. Uh, Russell Wilson, Broncos country, let's ride. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. They, they wreck. They call that a dirty crack up. Let's look at the vibe. This is the actual video of him coming off right here. And that little exchange with Sean Payton, by the way, that's went viral. From Quincy Williams, no doubt about it. Quincy knocked the ball out. It was chewing his up ass. By what are you he doing? Took it the yeah. distance off the it's it's getting ugly. So Aaron Rodgers did not forget that his boy Sean Payton had been trolled. Peyton, the current Broncos quarterback, took shots at the job Hackett did during training camp in an interview with USA Today. So Aaron Rodgers tweeted this out yesterday. Of course, he plays for the Jets now, in theory. W period hashtag Hackett heart emoji. Yeah, I mean, and it's it's bad when the Jets and Aaron Rodgers are coming out and trolling you, I mean, it, you've officially lost cabin pressure. Like I said, I do think the Broncos' offense looks better. Obviously, their defense played some better yesterday, but it was still Zach Wilson, and even though he looks better, it was still Zach Wilson. So you get the point. Um, look, I don't know if anybody thought this was going to be an immediate turnaround with the Broncos, but I did not. Okay, I, I thought there was a chance. I talked about it in multiple videos that there was a chance this Russell Wilson thing and Sean Payton was going to blow up and implode, like implode, uh, Titan under the water, looking for the Titanic style kind of implode. It was going to be really bad, okay? Uh, really bad. Some people would be like, oh, my God, that's a heinous analogy. It is what it is, okay? Um, I, I mean, it was go it would have potential to get bad, and Sean Payton's going to look over and start winking at, at Jared Stenham. He signed him for a reason, and Sean Payton believed Jared Stenham could be a starter in the NFL. So now... After yesterday and that confrontation on the sideline, Russell Wilson is officially on getting benched watched, I think. 
you know, if he comes out next game, throws a couple of picks, they're down by 17 at halftime, 24 at halftime, something like that. Anything that looks like that Dolphins game, Jarrett Stenham's going to be in the game. Does anybody remember him dicing up the 49ers last year with the Raiders? I was shocked the Raiders let Stenham go. But I'm sure Sean Payton was like, look, probably got a better chance of starting here. You're younger, less money, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it came very close to Sean Payton not taking this job because of the salary, all right? He didn't want to coach Kyler Murray in Arizona because, number one, he didn't want Kyler as a player. Number two, he did not want Kyler Murray's contract. We got a lot of worse trades, worse contract in NFL history kind of things going on here. We know the Herschel Walker trade it will live in infamy, right? But you got the Deshaun Watson Browns trade, and you got this Russell Wilson Seahawks trade that that looks really bad. Got a bad contract in Cleveland. Got a bad contract in Arizona. Got a bad contract in Denver. At least with Zach Wilson, he's not making any money. You know, tell me what you think, black and white sports two supporters. Ooh we it's getting late early for Russell Wilson and the Broncos. Peace I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.